Welcome my guys, this is Bidas Online Tutorial. If you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe to the YouTube channel and press the notification button for what? For subsequent video. We are still on what? Trigonometry under University Elementary Mathematics. And today we will be considering what? A double angle, a double angle formula. This is here, we are just watching this video. We are just watching this first video on the trigonometry. Please do where to go back and see the word previous video on trigonometry so as to be able to comprehend what we have been discussing on that this one. And I will stop. Today we'll be talking about what? Double angle what? Double angle formula. Double angle formula. Double angle formula. In the last in the previous video we were able to talk about what the the compound angle formula. The compound angle formula is we go the trigonometric ratio of the sum or difference of two angles taken for the stand alpha and beta. And to our able to establish the fact that the sine alpha is sine alpha plus beta equal to sine alpha cos beta plus what sine beta cos alpha. And that of course and first and first when we are doing the words we will be the negative aspect is one what we saw as we need to get to it. Is. Now we are talking about double angle formula. Now here we are doing because we are talking about what here under double angle formula. We are talking about when the two angles, when the two angles, when the two angles is the same thing, when the two angles is of the same value. So double angle formula. So how do we go about it? How do we go about it? For example, now and it has to do with the sum of two angles. For example, we have sine alpha plus what? Theta, where my alpha is theta, my theta is also what theta. Meaning that I'm going to have what sine alpha, sine what meaning that I'm going to have sine theta plus sine theta is equal to what sine what sine two theta. Are you getting this now? So how do you express this? How do you express it? If my alpha is theta, my theta is theta. Huh? So if my angle is double angle, this is what we call double angle. Double angle, that's sine 2 theta. So, sine 2 theta can be expressed as what? Sine theta plus theta instead of being having alpha and alpha. And we know that following the principle of what the compound angle, it says that it will be what? Sine alpha now. So we say the principle of compound angle sine alpha cos theta. But since we are having the same angle, it will just be sine theta cos what? Theta plus sine theta cos theta again. So that is the that is the that is the one for you. Instead of you having sine alpha cos beta, sine beta cos alpha. Now, because it is double angle, same angle, we have sine theta cos theta plus sine theta cos theta. So, because this is the same thing, we can add it together. The question is here is one. The question here is one. We have both sine two theta to go to sine theta cos what? Theta. Meaning that the sine two theta is equivalent to what? Two sine theta cos theta. And you can have to recall for this in any of the trigonometric problems. So meaning that also we have we can also say sine theta cos theta is equivalent to when you divide both sides by what two by two is equal that sine two theta all over two. This is very very important. This it gives it up to you know the differential what calculus. It gives the differential what calculus and integral what differential calculus and integral calculus. So that is the essence of double angle. We need this thing specialization in order to be able to solve some problems as we move on in trigonometry and what and in other aspect of field of mathematics, whether it is differential calculus or integral calculus. Now we have what the same thing happens to cos two theta. Cos two theta is what cos integral theta, theta plus what theta is equal to what we have cos theta plus we have cos theta cos theta minus what? sin theta. Remember I have 
plus is not everything I'm going to tend to minus sin theta sin what theta. So we have now this is cos theta multiplied by cos theta. We have cos square theta. Cos square theta, not cos theta. Not cos square theta, theta square. No, we have cos square theta. Cos square theta. We don't need to square the theta. So it is going to give us cos square theta minus sin square what? Sin square theta. Now this is the first first what? This is the first expressions for cos two theta. Just let them us to know the first expression the first way we can express cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta. Now you remember in the first class on trigonometry ratio we did something we call what? trigonometry identity, which is says that cos square theta cos square theta plus sin square theta they call from the trigonometry identity to see what time from the trigonometry the first trigonometry identity we call first what first trigonometry identity identity first trigonometry identity which says that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to what one sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to one this is the first trigonometry what identity that we discussed in the first class on that word on that word trigonometry word trigonometry topic now from here now we can make any of these sort of formula we can make sin square theta square formula we can make cos square theta square formula and then insert it into this word to this word into this expression you have to have another expression for cos two theta cos two theta cos two theta so now let's go for to make that cos square theta as well as the other we make cos square theta square the formula we take this one to the other side take this one to the other side so we have what? cos square theta equal to one minus what sin square theta so cos square cos square two cos square theta equal to one minus sin square theta Cos square theta equals one minus cos square theta. Now bring this one. Whenever we see cos square theta, we are going to bring it. We are going to replace it with what? One minus sin square theta. Whenever we see cos square theta, we replace it with one minus what? Sin square theta. So this expression becomes this expression, which is what? Cos two theta is equal to now. Now whenever we have cos square theta, what are we going to put? One minus sin square theta. Minus sin square root theta. So we have cos two theta equals what? We have one minus sin square theta minus sin square two theta. Is that to use this minus one? Theta is also what? Minus one. Minus one minus one is equal to what? Minus two. So we have one minus two sin square theta. So it is another way of expressing this. Or if expressing cos 2 theta is it as 1 minus sin square 2 theta. It's also very, very important that we note this. Very, very important as well. Note this. Oh. So, very, very important. This, not, this formula is very, very important. Very, very important. Now, also, also, now, we so let me make cos square theta so we have what formula here. Now, what about now we make what? Sin square theta is formula from here now to also also from first trig identity also from first trig trigonometry identity 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 we say sin square theta now plus cos square theta equal to what one a b so what is our word sin square theta sin square theta when you take it to the other side, what do you have? You have what? You can think of the theta when it's called the bridge, you have 1 minus cos square theta. 1 minus cos square theta. Now, bring this 1 minus cos square theta, cos square theta into what? Into, into the what? Into the what? Cos theta expression here. You know, we said uh, cos two theta, cos two theta cos two theta is equal to a cos square theta minus sin square root theta. Cos two theta equals cos square theta, cos two theta equals cos square theta minus sin square theta. 
if it's equals to what? Now, sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared what? Theta. So now, this one will become cos squared theta minus what? 1 open bracket. Because of this minus, I have to go into open bracket. I have to go to open bracket because of this minus. Because minus will have to this. So open bracket 1 minus cos squared what? 1 minus cos squared theta. Cos squared theta minus more brackets instead of this sine squared theta now you have to put one minus cos squared theta so what is our expression now we have cos squared theta minus one plus cos squared what theta so cos squared theta plus cos squared theta cos squared theta plus cos squared theta right one cos squared theta plus one cos squared theta the question is wrong so it will be equal to what two cos squared theta minus what one you get that this is you add this together you add this one cos squared theta plus one cos squared theta give two square cos theta minus one so this is another formula that is cos two theta is the same thing as what it's the same thing as what as cos squared theta minus two cos squared theta minus one this means that means that means that it's the important so these are the two expressions for for these are the three expressions for cos two theta. Now let's go to tan two theta. Tan two theta is equal to theta tan of what tan theta plus what theta now. It means that we are going to have tan theta plus tan theta all over one minus tan theta plus Theta because we have the money is there. So we have what? Tan 2 theta is equal to what? Tan theta plus tan theta is 1 theta plus 1 tan 1 tan theta plus 1 tan theta is equal to 2 tan theta all over 1 minus tan squared theta. 1 minus tan squared what? Theta. In fact, this is also you know, when we represent what here, we usually use something. In fact, we usually use we use this a lot in what in solving some geometry what functions by saying let tan theta be t. This will become two t over one minus what like our minus is and then let what tan theta here be equal to what t. We are still going to do example like that. So that the expression here will go tan 2 theta is equal to what? Tan 2 theta is equal to 2. Now now we see what tan theta will put to what? T. 2 t all over 1 minus t squared. T squared. First, tan theta is what? Is t so this one is kind of supposed to 1 minus t squared. 1, 1 minus t squared. So this is used a lot in cheap function. So we are going to be doing examples on this and this is what we call double angle formula where we have what the same angle as our what our the same angle for the two different angles which are the two angles which are so this is sine two theta is equal to what sine theta is equal to sine two theta is equal to two sine theta cos theta and can be explained that sine theta cos theta is equal to sine two theta over two so this is for the cos theta you can see can be presented as this first this second and this third and the tan two theta can be given as what two tan theta one minus what tan theta squared let's just give an example of this so as to what so as to be able to what, know how to use this in what trigonometry problems